why can't you stay away from my family? Just go away. David needs to be alone. Are you kidding? Please. You're responsible for that. You did it. No! I come in peace to say that I'm no longer a threat to any of you. Well, I suppose that means you can leave. Your wife is a very, very smart woman, Tad. She convinced me that I am responsible for my own misery and that I had no right to blame any of you. Shall I call the police? No, let him talk. We all know I have done some horrible things and I can't take them back, but I can promise you that I am no longer a danger. I just want to wipe the slate clean and start fresh. Because I believe in my heart that that's exactly what Babe would want me to do. I lost the person I love most. And I blamed all of you. I felt that I deserved payback from you. You threatened to steal my grandson. I know. I know. But that was wrong. Of course, little Adam needs to be with his father. I know that. And I will never pull anything like that again. All I can hope is that someday you might allow me the occasional visit so that I can watch him grow up. I never had that chance with Babe. So that, well, that would mean the world to me. I want you also to know that I'm going to get my job back at the hospital. I'm going to spend every waking minute healing the sick and proving to all of you that I have changed. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Yeah, I can't stomach anymore. Yeah, nobody's buying this crap, are they? You know, I don't expect any of you to buy it, okay? Except maybe Crystal. She's the reason why I'm here. Willing and able to make all of these promises to you. All right, then you can go now. All right. But first, I'd like to say goodbye to my daughter. Fine. You don't worry about anything, darling. I am never going to forget what they did to you. There are plenty of coffins for all of them.